Hey everybody, welcome back to the second episode of season two, The Turnabout Files. Yes, this one's going to be a little less angry, but it's cringeworthy. I'm going to tell you why it's cringeworthy. This was about Black Jesus. When I saw the promos on, on Adult Swim before the show was even released, the only thing I could say was, what the fuck? And then I actually stomach to watch a half an episode. Oh yeah, the episode is 30 minutes long. I can't even make it to the 15 minute mark. It was that bad. But I'm going to go ahead and tell you. The person who created this show is Aaron Magruder. You know what else he made? The Boondocks. So pretty much you're going to get the same type of comedy in this show like you would in Boondocks. And let's talk about the cast members. Oh boy. And what makes so bad. Quite a few of them are well known. Callie Hawk. She been in quite a few movies. Hell she been in um, Peebles. That movie. Yeah that crazy ass movie. She was in that movie and she's in this. Corey Holcomb. And Andrew Bachelor. They 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 were or are still in Wild and Out, which is currently MTV Two. And then you got John Witherspoon, who we know as Pops from the Wayans Brothers, and we also know him from In Living Color as well. So yeah, why? Why are you on this show with a spoon? Why, 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 why? And there's Charlie Murphy in there as well. So, yeah. Here's the plot. Here's the pretty much synopsis of the show. Black Jesus is trying to spread his gospel and his word to a modern day Compton. That don't sound bad at first. But here's where the problem comes in. He smokes weed and chill with his homies. And do all kinds of negro shit. And yes, I said negro shit for one reason only. This Show uses the word nigga way too much. Just like Boondocks. Oh, it gets better. You know I lo- you know I always say the word shit. I mean, that's no secret to anybody. However, watching this show, I'm actually surprised they got away with saying the word shit without being bleeped out. Any other time, it would be bleeped out. But, no. Not at all. They use it like it's nothing. And then what made me turn the damn show off was Black Jesus had a bottle of water and turned it into some wine yet. And you wonder what's wine yet? It's cognac mixed with wine. You know what? See, this is the type of shit that made me stop watching Adult Swim. And now, I re- only time I watch Adult Swim now is during the Tsunami Block. And no, uh, I, I, I used to watch Boondocks during the first season. But after that, no, I got tired of it. Then Black Dynamite don't care to fucking see it. And then most of it is self McFarlane Zone. Woohoo! Now we got this shit. Why? Why did this show exist? I cringe when Moral Oral was on. 
Adult Swim when it was on there. I'm not going to lie. Shows like this will make a lot of Christians cringe. And I'm not going to lie. If you're even not a Christian, um, let's be honest. You wouldn't find this funny. And it's going to be cringeworthy to you too. So I don't know what the fuck they were on when they made this show. But they clearly need to get off of it because this is this is complete shit. The show is shit. It is not funny in the slightest. Like I said, it uses the same type of comedy formula from Boondock, so it's not fucking funny. And it's polluting Adult Swim, basically. I'd rather watch reruns of C-Lab 2021 or hell, The Brack Show and even Aqua Teen Hunger Force. I'd rather watch them than this. It's a terrible show, and nobody should watch it. And if you do watch it, and like as I watched a half an episode, pray for your soul for God's sake. Seriously. It's not even a pun. I'm dead serious. Because after I watched that show, I felt unclean. That's how cringeworthy this show is. It will leave you unclean. So to save your sanity, don't watch this unfunny shit.